Oh God, I probably should have done my eyebrows before I did this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something very different. I will be doing a makeup challenge. I am not the best at makeup. I just do an everyday look every single day. I'm just comfortable in my own skin. And you know what? Today we're going to leave that skin. I am going to be doing a challenge where a spinner, a random spinner, will pick out my makeup. So any for from my eyes, my lips, my face, everything will be decided upon a spinner. It was actually inspired by this palette that I got in my BoxyCharm a few months ago. I'm looking at these bright colors. I'm just like... When will I ever wear, you know, neon green on an everyday look? And I'm just like, you know what? We're going to do something fun. So I downloaded a spinner app on my phone. And we're going to let this random spinner decide my makeup look for today. It's going to be out of my comfort zone, but I'm highly excited. So stay tuned and enjoy. And I'll today I usually go for like neutrals brown maybe some like uh what do you call it like maybe a not salmon what's that color I'm actually show you guys oh my goodness this palette exploded on you but anyways this is my Kylie palette and I usually go for like this kind of like color scheme just very natural let's rely on my spinner to see what my color scheme is going to be today okay so I have my spinner here, and we're going to let the spinner decide the theme for my eye look today. So I have added to the spinner orange, pink, red, blue, green, yellow. Let me see, that's like about six colors, I think. So let's spin the spinner and see what my color is going to be. I tried over and over again to focus this, but <laughs> it has decided pink. I am not at all a master at makeup. Like I told you guys, I just do the same everyday look all the time. And, I don't know, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to put on some contacts because I'm so blind I won't be able to see. Be right back. Alright guys, so let's get started. I think I'm going to start with a concealer for my eye. This thing doesn't focus. So you know what? Until I figure out how to do that, we're not going to show you guys my products. I'm going to put this all over my lid. So for this pink look, I think I am going to go a little bit out of my comfort zone. Oops, wrong palette. And I'm definitely going to try to incorporate this hot pink because this is a palette that inspired it all. I mean, what kind of inspiration would it be if I didn't let it control it, you know? I'm thinking of starting off with the color. I don't even know what this palette, all the colors have like faded on the back. I'm sorry if I keep looking in the viewfinder, guys. I'm still practicing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm like trying to figure out what color this is, and I'm not sure. I'm just going to take this color and put it all over my lid. Like I said, guys, I am literally no professional. A little bit I do know about makeup. I probably learn off of YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, this video is literally just for fun. And just something, like, different to get me out of my comfort zone and my whole makeup experience but I'm going to be taking this shade right here and I'm going to apply it to my outer lid I don't even know what you what you would call this was it would this be a transition shade I don't even know I have an exam on Thursday and instead of studying I'm literally going to just be doing my makeup for a couple hours I'm going to take take this shade right here I kind of want to wear yellow somewhere on my eyes. So I think I might do the inner corner yellow. I don't know if that's something I can do. I don't know if that's cute. But we're going to try. I'm going into my ColourPop um, palette. I'm going into this shade right here. Oh no, this is a fail. You know what I see some people do? They add concealer where they want the bright yellow to be. I just wanted to just take this time to thank everybody again for all the love and support shown. 
and you guys are literally just have been so great and I really appreciate it oh this looks horrible whose bright idea was this maybe if I get a flat brush hold on so I just got a flat brush that's probably dusty because I don't use it um this is actually an eyeliner brush well guess what today I'm making it a shadow brush okay so I've packed it on there now I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to blend it out then I just blend it out into my whole lid. Part of me low-key wanted to like look up a look on Google and try to recreate it because I'm not creative at all. So I'm just putting concealer in the middle of my lid just to kind of help the pink stick. Ooh, this pink is bright. I'm not even gonna lie, I had bigger hopes. <laughs> I have bigger hopes for this. Oh my god. This is such a mess. Did I really think this was going to be cute? Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to do. Just blend it out until I can't blend no more, I guess. Because this is a hot mess. This is why I stick to my normal, everyday look because of this. I really thought this was going to be cute. I look like a freaking raccoon with pink eyes. I really thought I killed it with this one. So right now I'm going in with like a plum and try to give this pink guy some definition. I'm gonna take this shimmer with my finger. I'm sorry to all the makeup gurus out there that think this is bad, but I just apply it to my inner lid. Okay guys, so my camera shut off. I really thought long and hard about taking this off, but you know what? This is why it's a challenge. You know, we are going to work with what we got. So, it might look ugly, but you know what? That's why it's a challenge. And I really, I really should have done my eyebrows, man. My eyebrows look like two caterpillars right now. And this was supposed to be a pink look. This is turning into a burgundy look. And I lost my yellow. What was the point of doing that? You know what? No, I'm not losing my yellow. You know what? Forget the yellow. We're going to go with the orange. This bright old orange. Pink isn't even like a crazy color. Like, you imagine if the spinner spun out purple or green? Oh my god. Thank the Lord heavens. Alright guys. This is the final eye look, I think. I might work on it. It needs work. It needs to come off. What needs to happen? Also, what I'm gonna try, I'm gonna spin the spinner to see if I should apply lashes. Because believe it or not, I have never in my life applied a lash. Ever. So now I'm gonna go on with my Maybelline Fit Me. I use shade 315 in the Dewy and Smooth. So what I do is I kind of just blot it everywhere and then I blend it in. Ooh, another thing I don't do is I don't usually do my eyebrows. My eyebrows are usually done, like threaded, and my eyebrows are really thick, so I usually don't find the need to. My eyebrows are a hot mess. Let me see if I can brush them at least. I'm gonna try, just because. Why not, you know? Can you guys even tell the difference in my eyebrow? <clears throat> I don't know if that made a difference, but I just did my eyebrows. Then I'm gonna spin the spinner to see if I should do lashes because I feel like that's the next intimidating part of this video and I'm kind of nervous about it so let's get it out the way <laughs> and the spinner says yes oh I think they grab them with tweezers where are my tweezers oh there's directions on here check fit of lashes okay I think they fit are you supposed to apply mascara to the fake lashes holy moly I already messed up man these feel heavy Okay. Oh, these are long. I'm not sure if I like these lashes. Why is it so dark in, in my inner lid over here? Is that the glue? <gasps> That's the glue. I thought this was a, a hot mess with the, uh, what you would call it, pink shadow? No. It's a hot mess with the lashes, guys. Red cherry, I don't like your lashes. 100% human hair. Oh my god. You look like a. All right, let's move on, I guess. Oh my God, I really thought I knew what. I'm pretty sure I didn't do these lashes right because 
They look like spider legs when I look at them in my mirror. Is that a look that some people look for? When I look in my bathroom mirror, it doesn't look that bad, but when I look in this mirror, it looks horrendous. So if you guys think it's cute, so what should I ask the spinner now? Let's ask if they should have, should wear blush. No. So let's ask it. So it's yes or no. So it says no. Let's ask it if we should contour. Yes. I'm not actually really good at contouring. What I do is I use the Maybelline, the Master Contour Kit. And since usually when my hair is down, and it sounds weird, I usually have my part this way. So I don't even worry too much about the side of my face. I kind of apply contour here. I do my cheeks, my jawline, my nose. And that's what I do when I contour. So my battery actually died. I'm going to make this creep before it dies again. I'm going to apply highlight and then we're going to spin the spinner to see what color lip I'm going to do. I already took off the powder off my face. Let me apply some of this highlighter. This is a little... So let's spin the spinner to see what color our lips is going to are my lip is going to be. All like the major colors I have in terms of my lipstick, I have brown, nude, burgundy, gloss, red, purple, pink. So let's see. I hope it's not purple. Guys, it came out to be purple. <coughs> I know, I don't know why I won't focus. I need to look that up. So purple. All right, guys. So I don't know what happened to my purple lipstick. Um, So I'm going to spin it. Is this purple? No, it's brown. So I'm going to spin it. Red. It really tried my life. I couldn't find the red I actually wanted to wear, so we're just gonna wear ColourPop Mama. It's kind of like an orange red. I'll line the outline because I don't got time. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. Let me set it real quick. Ooh, that smells, smells weird. I'm not like disappointed in it. We definitely saved it because this thing was looking a hot mess, like a hot mess. But yeah, like it actually came out. Decent when I look in the mirror my lashes are a hot mess. So let's not zoom in there But yeah, it was actually really fun to film this if you liked it Please like share subscribe and comment down below all the links to my social media are also linked down below Please follow me on my journey, and I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. and I hope you enjoy